Hi again, everybody. It's tournament week. Time to get ready for the West Coast Conference Championships in Las Vegas. I'm George Devine, along with women's head coach Jennifer Razi. And Jennifer, first of all, it's got to be exciting for you. Your team has had grown by leaps and bounds again this year. What are some of the things you're most proud of? You know, I'm most proud of our players. I mean, they've really embraced uh, working. They've worked very hard this season. They've never stopped believing in building a program, especially our, you know, our seniors with uh, Andre and Taj from when they came in and then Paige kind of joining the mix uh, a little bit later. But um, as they've gotten better, the program's gotten better. And speaking of getting better, 17 wins in the regular season. It's the most for the Dons in the time you've been here. But you got to go back a little bit further for the most for the Dons since 2001, 2002. How big is that? It's a long time, um, but you know, again, we knew when we took over the program that it was going to take a good bit of time to get to where we are. Uh, and, and again, it's it's a credit we've been doing this with our players, and I feel like they've really taken ownership this season. You talk about taking ownership, and one of the players who's been a big role since she got here is Taylor Proctor, and Taylor won the WCC Player of the Week award for the final week of the regular year. How much of a joy has it been to coach her? Oh, Taylor has just come on really strong here as well. She. She did the same thing at the end of last season, too, and um, it's been so exciting to see her development and her grow, not just on the court, but her grow as a person, um, her leadership. You know, she had five assists in, in the St. Mary's game, and so, you know, when teams are trying to double and triple team her, she's able to get other people the ball, play very unselfishly, and she's played very hard um, in the last few weeks here, and, and I'm, I'm excited for Taylor. You mentioned, we talk about Taylor Proctor. Taj Winston also went over the 1,000-point mark in the same game as Taylor this year. Janae Dykes is getting closer to 1,000 points, but three players have scored 950-plus career points on the same team at the same time. What does that speak to? Well, you know, it speaks to not just their, obviously, their scoring ability, but but the improvement in the program as a whole. And, and I think, you know, Taj is having a great senior season. So is Andrea Gordon uh, and Taylor as well. And then, you know, Z to be really close to that milestone is, is great for her career, too. And it's all very, very good for the program. You know, they always say you want to go into any kind of a playoff, playing your best ball of the year, being hot. Your team certainly has played some of its best ball this past weekend. A win at St. Mary's Place they you hadn't won since 07. Actually, nobody had won there from USF since 07. And then first conference win at Pacific since the Pacific joined the conference. Yeah, I mean, the two, two wins here at the end of the regular season have been, um, you know, again, just huge for the program and, and for the development of our team. And, and, you know, just for their continued confidence and, and their belief in one another. And uh, it, was, it was just great to see them play so well together the last two games. Jennifer, it's always exciting to go to Las Vegas to play in the Orleans Arena. How exciting is it for your student athletes and for your staff? I think they've been waiting for this all season. They, they love going to the tournament. Uh, you know, we've done well the last couple of years in Vegas. And, you know, we've got two of our players are from Las Vegas, too, so that doesn't hurt. But, yeah, the team is, is extremely excited, especially after having a very strong uh, regular season finish. And something that might get lost in all the hoopla, this is the first time since the tournament's moved to Vegas that San Francisco is not playing in the opening round. You go directly to the quarterfinals. I mean, it's it's huge for us, and it's something that we've talked about, you know, all season. That that this is where you know we were, not not that this is your goal necessarily, but you know that we wanted to make strides. And you know, once you get in the tournament, any anything can happen. Now you play Pacific again on Thursday. How hard is it going to be to pull off back-to-back -back wins against the Tigers? Anytime you play anyone in our conference back to back, it's challenging. I mean, everyone in our conference, you know, it, it is very, very strong. So uh, it, it's going to be a challenge for both teams, and uh, we're looking forward to it, as I'm sure they are. Uh, but their Pacific is a great team. I mean, they, they shoot the three really, really well. They're up tempo. They pressure. Uh, they're they're a great program. Is maybe there's something that's going to help the players muscle memory wise? Just this is the last game they played. Maybe that scouting report from a few days ago and the experience a few days ago stays a little fresher. I would think both coaches are hoping for you know some some you know retention of not only what you did well but what you didn't do well um, to learn from to go into this game. Getting back to looking at the the positive growth of this program, five years almost in the books for you. What are you most proud of? I'm most proud of the development of our players, you know, to see someone like, you know, Taj come in as a freshman and, and run out of our first sprint workout and, you know, to see Andrea Gordon's development and, and then just, you know, the things that they're doing off the court is, um, you know, it's a part of this job that, that, you know, maybe everyone doesn't see or doesn't understand, but to have our APR uh, where it is, so to be a very high academic program is something that I'm extremely proud of and, you know, to have 17 wins this season is, is a big step for the program. 
Yeah, it's funny you mentioned the invisible part of the job. I think when people see you on the sidelines, what percentage of their jo- of your job do you think the average fan sees? I, I think they might see 1% of, of the job. I think people you know, have no idea what goes into uh, a college coach's life. And, you know, and people can quite honestly be very critical and, and really don't necessarily have the full grasp of what it means to develop um, young people and, and to help. Uh, I believe our, our, our job is to help them grow and then graduate and, and become better people and, and change the world. Well, Jennifer, certainly changing the world, changing the culture here for women's basketball on the Hilltop. Congratulations on a great regular season, and best of luck in the West Coast Conference Tournament. Thanks, George. Remember, you can catch the Dons on Thursday night, 6 p.m. Pacific time. They'll take on the Pacific Tigers. We'll have a link on usfdons.com. You can also catch the audio broadcast on the W.TV. I'm George Devine for usfdons.com.